Hello everyone, this is SM72, Nick from Too Mad for Gaming, and I am finally back with another solo Let's Play. This one, uh, not from the very beginning of my childhood, but later came in. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, so along the lines of my childhood, not till a bit later on, but still, I consider this to be a great game to play. Uh, kind of short, but eh, I could probably get this done in one night. It's a 9.53 on the 24th. So we'll see. He's got THQ. Oh yes, we've seen that many times before. <laughs> so, Australia. Okay. Render. Oh yes. Gotta love that one. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We have Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Attack of the Twonkies, and I really like how they did the, uh, the O. So, let's hop right into it. <laughs> this game is pretty freaking funny as well, so I really look forward to doing it, so let's see what we've got, folks. New game. Here we go. Slot A. Yes. Here we go. And by the opening, uh, or not the opening, but the scenes that you'll see throughout this game, they are not skippable, so if you don't have the patience, this game is not for you, so. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we've got. Yeah, this first scene is, <laughs> this whole thing is funny, <laughs> so I can't wait for this. Here we go. And now, to demonstrate the speed and movement of the typical comet, I give you the remote-powered mini-comet. <laughs> You're slipping, Neutron. Real comets have long, pretty tails, not little stumpy ones. Only when they're filtered through the spectral light of the sun, Vortex. Care to tell me how I get a giant hot ball of gaseous radioactivity into the classroom? Hello, children! Ah! Get it off me! Down, boy! Down! Uh, whose comet is this? <laughs> oh, that tickles! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not the face! Ah! Concludes my presentation. Thank you, Mr. Neutron. You're lucky. I'm in a good mood today. And do you know why I am? Cause your mom packed your favorite lunch. Kara, Principal Willie with mom to <laughs> pack his lunch. He probably has his butler do it for him. Duh. Oh, did your butler rub your tummy when she put you on the school bus and tell you your lunch is made with love? Oh, stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm happy because the Lindbergh School Chorus has been asked to sing at the opening of the town's new stadium. Oh, how exciting! Awesome. Now my singing talents can be revealed to the whole world. And apparently some other upstart band called Grey Star will be playing as well. Grey Star! Grey Star! Grey Star! Oh my god, that is so cool. Now kids, quiet down. Shh, shh, shh. Thank you. The auditions for the chorus will begin after school today, as the stadium opening is only a few days away. <laughs> well, I hope to see everyone there. At least the talented ones. I'll be there. Well, I have to get back to my lab and make preparations for my trip to Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3, the comet. You know, the comet that I have just been describing to the class? Uh... Ah! Okay, Sheen, I gotta go. Good luck at the chorus rehearsal. Right, like I'll need it. Besides, no one has been rejected from the Lindbergh chorus in 50 years. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Alrighty, so that... Alrighty, off the bat, let's see. First level. Jimmy Neutron in A Comet Comet. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is the tutorial level, so not nothing much exciting, but... Uh -huh. According to my calculations, Twonkus 3 is finally coming into range! Looks a little unstable, but I can't wait to see what scientific samples I can bring back from up there. All I need to do now is find the parts I need to fix my rocket ship, and I can blast off! Alrighty, finally, so here we go, we got the gameplay. So, we got first, uh, yeah, we have to go to this orange ball. Hello, Jimmy. If you ever see the interact icon, move close to it and press the Y button on your controller to see what happens. Do this now. You cannot turn her off, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, but you cannot skip the tutorials. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Excellent, Jimmy. Other objects you can interact with are now in the control room. Try 
figure them out and meet me in the lab when you are finished. Oh man, okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, A is jump. You can double jump in this game. Um, the sound effect is pretty funny too. But I also like it when you double jump, or yeah, when you double jump, and you hear when you, when he starts to go down, you hear a cool like alien sound effect. That's kind of cool. Like listen to it. It's like ah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And if you if you spin around and you press the A button, you can do that little twist jump, which they don't talk about. Uh, it's like the only thing she doesn't talk about, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's kind of cool. But anyways, let's. Follow me, Jimmy. Shut up. Oh, Instruction. Now all I need to do is deliver it to Vortex's house. Yep, so you can activate and mess around with stuff around here. Oops, pulling up the wrong thing. Alright, anyways, let's continue on. Let's go through this door. Ah, home sweet home. Where would a genius be without his lab? Now I need to find those parts. I wonder if I can find them in the lower levels. Oh boy. Can you imagine? I'm I... over here, Jimmy. I know that! Okay, Jimmy. You can control the camera Jeez. with the C stick on the controller. Push the C stick left or right. Oh my to god. The camera. Try this now. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, unfortunately you cannot skip this. Sometimes you may want to position the camera directly behind you. Press the L button to do this. Go ahead and try, Jimmy. Go ahead and try. That's a great way. <laughs> Excellent, Jimmy. Now follow me to the next lesson. Alrighty. You have activated a checkpoint. If you ever run out of health, you will return to the last checkpoint you have activated. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> you can collect objects when you walk over them. Pick up the object in front of you now. All right, Jesus, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I wonder what I can invent with this. Well done, Jimmy. Thank you. If the object is an invention piece, it will be added to your inventory. Now, follow me. You will need to jump on different things throughout the game. If you press the jump button once, you will do a normal jump. Press it a second time when you are in the air, and you will do a double jump. Jump now to reach the pickup. So yeah, basically just the same stuff I explained in the beginning. But yeah, and you get these cool things you can collect throughout the game. One of which, we're going to get up there. Again, what she doesn't explain is weird. You have this jump that you have to discover for yourself, because she doesn't tell you about it, which is kind of dumb, but oh well, it is what it is. Gizmo piece! I'm alright! Gizmo. You have found enough items to create an invention, Jimmy. Press the R button on the controller to bring up the inventor face. The inventor face has four categories. Gizmos, inventions, super inventions, and blueprints. Gizmos require two objects. Inventions need three objects. Super inventions require four objects. Press up or down on the control pad to change category. And press the A button to move across to the objects. Another stupendous idea. Press up or down on the control pad in each column to change available objects. Then press the A button to Think see if an invention Think can be created. If the pieces match up to create a new invention, it will be added to your inventory. You can see your current inventions in the hypercube. To access the hypercube, press a direction on the control pad. Once the hypercube is visible, use the control pad to scroll through your inventory. Select a gizmo or invention and press the A button to use it. Great job, oh Jimmy. Oh my god, I didn't even now do anything. Explore the lab and follow me to see Goddard when you are ready. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do. Oh shit. Let's see if I can do this. Two. Come on. Okay, not bad. M. Oh great, you're not even gonna be able to see it because the stupid thing is in the way. Four. Gaming. All right, let's take a look at that, folks. Oh, it's a work of art, if I can even see it. There it is. Oh, 
if I can just get a good view of it. Perfect. Look at that, folks. The sooner you follow me, the sooner you Shut up! I'm trying to show off a thumbnail. Perfect. There it is. Two M for the two mad for gaming logo. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. So if you press the D, I like the fact they use the D-pad in this game, folks. So if you press the D-pad, yeah, you can choose all these inventions. So you've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Now let me just point this out. Gizmos are, of course, the weakest inventions. He comes up with only a few of them out of like twenty something uh, that we create. Only a few of them are actually useful. Uh, a few of them I really like, um, but yeah, only a few gizmos will actually, like, benefit you. Other ones are just used for goofing off, so. But either way, it's it's really awesome, so let's continue on. Yeah, sorry, this first episode's pretty much the tutorial level. Next episode is when we really start uh, grinding through the game. It's going to be a lot of fun, trust me. There's Goddard, best dog ever. Maybe Goddard can help you get that pickup, Jimmy. Probably, it's not the same though. I mean, Goddard's awesome and all, but I much rather want a pet fur versus metal. <laughs> you have found a Goddard upgrade. When you pick it up, Goddard will have extra commands. They will be available from your hypercube. Keep an eye out for more upgrade packs. Why don't you try them out now? Yep, dogs are the best, folks. They are the best. Oh, let's collect this, John. Another invention piece for my inventory. If it flashes blue, it's invention. Uh, so, I, yeah, gizmos are green. Inventions are blue. Super inventions are a, uh, a gold. And then a, uh, I'm pretty sure this one's got it. It's purple. All right. This should help me out. All righty. So, so if you, uh, yeah. So now that we picked up that, God is going to follow us. So now step on this switch the door opens but the door closes again so we've got a puzzle to solve here so we can get Goddard to come sit play dead okay boy play dead nicely done <laughs> okay so we're gonna have him walk to the switch have him sit while the door is open and then super an invention of now I'm pretty sure this will be okay. So now, if we say come, will we get screwed over? No, we will not. Thank God. But as soon as you leave the room, then it'll shut. So thank God they don't lock you in there. Otherwise, you would have to restart the whole thing. There is no save option in this game, folks. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure there isn't. Music and sound, controller configuration, uh, report card, progress. Yeah, folks, there is no way to save in this game. So you save by each level, which kind of sucks. This is old school gaming, I guess. But either way, I still love it, so. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's check out this hot tub. And he doesn't get hurt. Look at that. <laughs> Oops, let me the camera, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, why can't I not move? What's going on here? Oh my god. If I didn't warn you guys about this, this game is very glitchy. Oh my goodness, did I already break the game? Wait, hold on. I didn't. I think this one needs perfection. Okay, thank God. Please let me... Okay, thank the Lord. <laughs> okay, that that, guy, that had me a bit worried there for a second because he wasn't speaking. And I know I pressed the Y button and I was stuck there. So thank God I was able to get the camera up just enough. So you... I have no idea. But, the, but folks, there are a few points in this game where the game does freeze, unfortunately. And then I have to start it all over. So that might actually happen. Hopefully it doesn't, but it's, it'll be funny if it does. A super invention object. Super invention. Yep. So it flashes yellow or gold or whatever the hell you want to call it. That's what it is. Let's see what this My thing idea is. machine. What ideas do you have for me today? Super chew bubble gum. Guaranteed one thousand chews. I like it. All right, let me show you guys. Let's see what he's got over here. You can never eat just one. Okay, a bunch of more of his inventions. Dude, how proud would your parents be of you if you made all of this? In fact, he has this note. Like, think about this. He has this much space. That is insane. Like, Jesus. Atomic vomit. A super invention object. Okay. All right. Now let's see what this thing does. This one needs perfecting. Alright, I think that's everything we've 
want to show off down here. So, let's go over to the uh, escalator. A genius never takes the stairs. Well, I mean, eh. <laughs> it is healthier if you do take the stairs, folks, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. You have found a blueprint, Jimmy. Blueprints are plans to show you how to create some inventions. Check your inventor face at any time to see your blueprints. Alright, so... If I stick to these plans, I can't go wrong. About this game, yeah, I, you do want to collect the blueprints Good because work, you get the points, Jimmy. but... You have now completed all the tasks that you will need after you leave the lab. I may come back to teach you some extra abilities at a later stage. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, we got one more thing to collect over there. But let me show this to you. Gizmos, inventions, super inventions, and blueprints. See, when you uh, when you access the blueprint, it'll actually give you a hint on what you need to create. The fact is, you I'll, I'll show this off, but I, I don't really use this because you can literally, once you have the thing, you can scroll until it'll say another genius invention. And basically, you'll, 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 you'll see what I mean. Like... The fact is, I never used the blueprint at all, and I never really understood it until the other day I took a look at I took a look at it, and I was just like, oh, it just basically shows what the super invention is going to be. Super, so, an invention object. Um, but it's the, if, if you're new to the game and uh, you have no idea what to expect, um, yeah, you can look at it, and I guess it will help you. Um, you need a few more things, Jimmy. What? Go back and get them. Oh my god, like, what did I miss? How did I not pick up? Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Thank you. Awesome! A super invention piece. Okay. Up we go! <sighs> okay. Now we should have everything. Yep. There we go. Let's go through here. I guess this is where his rocket launches off. I have no idea, but we don't need to see over here. I guess where he keeps his backpack when he goes to school or some shit. <laughs> he crawls up the pipe, or yeah, it's a secret underground lab right there. Snowboard. With this object, I could make an incredible super invention. That's what invention. it looked like <laughs> for a minute. And when you see that flashing yellow square on the screen, when you get the flashing square at the top right corner. Um, it's, it's basically telling you, hey, you can invent something. Uh, so as you can see, yeah, we're going to do that in just a second, though. Yeah, see the yellow square is flashing. That means you can create a super invention. I wonder what I can invent with this. All right, first. Okay, yeah, give me the points. Thank you. Okay, so press A, and then if it, if you see that green bubble across from, a. Uh, the green bubble around Jim. Yeah, it'll basically tell you another stupendous idea. Press the A button, hit invent. Think, think, right left. And we have created our rocket. So now we can go into outer space without telling our parents. <laughs> oh, okay, time to go outside. And we're finally done with that. So, Jimmy, guess what? My folks said I could get a new pet as long as it doesn't set off my allergies. That's great, Carl. Uh-huh. So, you want to come to the pet store and hold the animals up while I sniff them? Uh, sorry, Carl. I have a date with Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3? Yep. It's a comet that is entering Earth's orbit in... You can blow it out! Gotta run! <laughs> Twonkus 3 is entering Earth's orbit in an hour! So, what I missed? Oh, Jimmy's dating a comet and I have to go sniff animals. <laughs> and they say I'm the weird one. Well, guys, got a blast! Yeah, and some kid is just gonna go up in the space on his own free will. Uh, gotta love it, man. Gotta love cartoons and stuff. But yeah, and you get a grade uh, after you complete each level. Um, I'm not really gonna call this a 100%. Uh, let's play only because I don't really know like yeah I don't really know if there's a top score or anything so I'm just basically going to show off everything I can in this game um, it doesn't really give you an indication of whether you 100% it or not so I'm just going to do the best I can and that's
pretty much what it's going to be. So press continue and press slot A. Ready to save, not touch, and saved. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of my Jimmy Neutron uh, Attack of the Twonkies Let's Play. Uh, I can't wait for the next episode where we actually really start to play the game and I can, I guess, talk a bit more versus listening to the AI tutorial. <laughs> but anyways, I've been SM72, Nick from 2 Magic Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.